voyage continued after the vast battle of Cyconia, where they lost a fraction of their fleet due to the underestimating of the enemy. Odysseus and his men raided the city and left the island. Their ships were battered, had sprung leaks, and too overweighted with booty. They could not afford to waste food and water. Odysseus knew they had to lighten the load so their ships would stay afloat. Men, we have forgotten the main reason why we raided this city. We will starve and die of dehydration without any food or water. What do you recommend we do? We must dump all our booty overboard. I will dump my share first. <sighs> As the men threw gold and jewels to the bottom of the sea, they groaned with agony. Suddenly, a strange thing happened. Beautiful naiads were attracted to the glistening jewels. Some of the naiads came riding dolphins, and the men thought they saw mermaids. <sighs> Poseidon wakes up to the sound of the laughing naiads. His beard bristled with rage. Are these the warriors I helped in their siege on Troy, and now they are stealing my naiads from me? They will pay for this! Poseidon whistled to Aeolus to send a strong northeast gale in Odysseus's direction. It blew Odysseus's fleet to their next adventure in Lotus Land.